Welcome back to the Dublin B Mob channel, man. Today we on some Bill Burr. This is SNL monologue now. Y'all know this NBC, so we can't play too much of it. But we heard Uncle Burr, he got into some trouble. And uh, we gonna go straight to the part that, that got him into the trouble. Um, yeah. Have y'all seen SNL? No, I never, never seen it. Never seen SNL. All right. Well, we gonna check this out real quick. Uh, I'll probably get canceled for doing that joke, you know? How stupid is that cancel thing? They're literally running out of people to cancel. They're going after dead people now. They're trying to cancel John Wayne. <laughs> it's like that dude, God did that 40 years ago. They're all up in arms. They're like, did you hear what he said in that interview with Playboy in 1970? Can you believe that? It's like, yeah. He was born in 1907. That's what these people sounded like. You never talked to your grandparents and brought up the wrong subject, and all of a sudden they went off the rails. Like, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Just keep making the cookies. Just keep making the cookies. You don't bring up race or religion with your grandparents. You keep it simple. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know. I guess my grandparents are older. I don't know. Plowing ahead. Well, wait, wait, let's, let's talk uh, let's talk white women here, shall we? Let's talk white women. White women, you're amazing. Amazing your accomplishments over the last few years. I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. Just to refresh your memory, the woke movement was supposed to be about people of color not getting opportunities, the events that they deserve, finally making that happen. And it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet in the face of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. Gucci. I don't know how they did it. I never heard so much complaining in my life from white women. I am into her with my SUV and my heated seats. You have no idea what it's like to be me. Trash and white guys. The nerve, where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. Let me, I, listen, I don't want to speak ill on my bitches here. I don't know, let's, let's go back in history here. Okay? You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. You rolled around in the blood, buddy. And occasionally, when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. That's what you did. So why don't you shut up, sit down next to me, and take your talking to him. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we gonna stop with this. We gonna stop with this. I think that was, I think that was the part. Mm -hmm. But he ain't lying. So why you think he getting canceled? Because people are sensitive. People wanted to be their way. Is it time to end cancel culture? Let, let's keep it a bang. It should never started. It should never started. Why? Everybody is entitled to their opinion. As long as nobody, as long as nobody, uh, as long as nobody is like, like. Like physically abused and like some type of abuse, mm. I feel like somebody, hey, you, everybody should have their own opinion. But what he said about the white women and how they playing the little oh me too games, like mm. yeah, what I mean, no. It's just getting to that point. It's like y'all just be reaching, like oh yeah, any 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 time, just yeah, like. Big any celebrity, bro. Like, a celebrity can pick his nose and they call him out on that shit. You can't, you can't even scratch your ass. <laughs> we, saw, we saw Jay Z scratch his ass. <laughs> My man, man human. Man. Carpet. My man, human. He needed to itch his cheeks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, it's, nah. it's like you can't. It's like. It's like being a celebrity now is like yeah, being in like, a straight jacket, yeah, bro. Like, you can't do like, nothing, bro. You can't do anything. 
Don't yeah, let he nothing. just celebrities like yes. I don't think people get in trouble. But like, like you know, but we see more because of celebrities. Yeah. But and then like, don't let a story come out about something and then it's just one sided because that person came out first. Right. Yeah, it's over with after that. Yeah, nah, it's 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 getting bad, man. It's getting bad, and we we ain't gonna count. We seen this. That's why we went straight to the to the main part. But uh, yeah. I don't feel like it should be canceled, bro. Yeah, I, and again, like we said, he, no he said cards. this joke before. <laughs> he has no cut card, and there was no. I, I mean, I didn't hear nothing about Bird being. Canceled. I don't hear him being canceled out the little wire. It's just because it was, anything it, because when he did it, it was on his platform or whatever. So it was just on YouTube lingering, like. You know what I'm saying? But like how you said, SNL is like SNL, like... But bro, like he said fuck a whole city, bro. He said I hope y'all fall off the bridge. Right. He was going full haywire and I riot. But like I'm saying, it's not this, it's not the same platform. That was just like a local little gym. People just need to chill, bro. <laughs> and then and then it was it was it was stuff that people quote unquote found entertaining. But as soon as you go towards something that somebody is protective of or uh, 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 goes against what you're saying, then everybody gets all super sensitive. <sighs> well, like we said, whoever the SNL booker is, you they didn't do their homework. You clearly don't know who Bill Burr is. Right. This ain't fucking like I'm trying to think of some politically correct comedian. Like he ain't that. Right. Like if they politically if they politically correct, I wouldn't think they funny. Some people say Kevin politically correct now. You don't agree? <laughs> no, I think I think he just keep I just I just think he keep it clean so you can have a wider a wider uh uh oh a wider audience, a more variety. That's why I think because the last when they bought when they bought the old stuff up about what he said about his son that want he don't want his son to be gay and stuff. Mm. I watched his documentary on Netflix, and he was like, "I'm not apologizing for that shit." Right. He's like, "I don't did too much about that. I'm not. No, no, I'm not doing that." Mm-hmm. He refused. Yeah, man, Uncle Burr, I'm not canceling him. I don't, you know. There's nothing man, to cancel. Really, nothing to cancel. People always don't want to face the facts. It's it's a fact. White women has a reputation of doing that. I mean, you want him to tell y'all lies, and then y'all be like, "Oh, he lying all the damn time." Every, like I always, like I always say, everybody wants you to be real until you're real with them, and it's a fact. Everybody love real people until you real until it gets real with you. I'm not, I'm not gonna say and talk about my bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about my bitches. <laughs> 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 Legendary, bro. He said that on SNL, bro. And like I said, bro, that joke, it went. And that went all the way through because you can say bitches on TV. That's a fact. So that was like clean through, no blurt. (laughs) (laughs) The people in the front row was probably so appalled, bro. Uh, I ain't gonna talk about my bitches like that. uh, Yeah, man. People need to chill out. I mean, if y'all one of those people that agree with the canceling of, of Bill Burr, then y'all let us know why in the comment section, but I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, in the history of comedy, it's always been them um, telling jokes on real stuff. And Everybody always had their own opinion. From though. Richard Pryor all the way to now. I feel like comedy is offensive, period. I was about to say, like, you can find offense in anything. Like... Like joking around half the time is offensive, <laughs> but it's either you can tolerate it if you don't, and if you can't tolerate it, don't dish it out. I, I, I don't know, I don't know, but I feel like I'm reaching with this one. But y'all let us know in the comment section how y'all feel about the Bill Burr cancellation over the SNL monologue. Y'all think he was wrong? Y'all think he went too far? Do you? Agree with us that people probably doing a little too much. Y'all let us know in the comment section, man. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Get in that comment section. Let us know what y'all want to see. And uh, Uncle Bird, we wish. Just want to throw that out there. We yeah, riding with you. Okay.
Absolutely, but until next time, I'm to the mob.